Those are the groovy tunes from the title track of Hopetown Brown's first album, Burning Fuse. Now, the funky two-piece soul band have just released their second album, which is great for all of us who love their music. Nick Atkinson and Tim Stewart are here to tell us about it, as well as their upcoming tour. Can I just say, welcome, guys. Give them a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's lovely to have you here. So, let, first up, let's get, what do you play? I play bass clarinet and tenor saxophone and a little bit of tambourine and a bit of backing vocals. And what about you, Tim? I sing and I play trumpet and trombone and do all the stomping and the clapping and drums and percussion. You do a stuff. lot of stomping. How many yeah. boots do you go through on average per year? <laughs> well, it's more than maintenance, you know. They know me They know me at the shoe repair place. Can you reheal these ones <laughs> again? Yeah, yeah, I need yeah. new toes on them because you do a lot. It's like, and it's really, I've been, I've seen you and the floor, you know, it, you, you stomp hard. <laughs> the, the floor is key, yes. I've damaged some floors. I bet you have. But, you know, don't worry if you book us, I will look after you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, well, and congratulations, boys. You know, 12 months between um, albums. I think that says a lot about the management of two people in a band. Yeah. Uh, because let's go back over a little bit of history. Um, you initially met, um, we well, actually went, met at primary school. Primary school, we yeah. were eight years old. Uh, I was living in Coromandel Town and moved to the Big Smoke and Tim was this very urbane, sophisticated <laughs> eight-year-old and I thought, I've got to hang out with this guy. <laughs> and you did. And you then did. you were in Supergroove. You were the, you know, the brass in Supergroove together. That's right. Yep. yep. And, yeah, and then it's really just been continual because it's one place you have to, you have to play together all the time. So through all the years, we've always played together and then it just, just wound up like this. Well, I heard a rumour <laughs> that you two had a little bit of a fight when Supergroup kind of fell to bits and it took you a while to get I, back you know, together again. If we're really honest, there probably were a couple of years where we didn't talk to each other. It's, yeah, it's true, it's true. The whole band went <laughs> into yeah. complete dysfunction. Right. But now we're all, like, all You're good. All good. Mm. Yeah, but there's about a million of you in that band. It's hardly surprising. <laughs> yeah, and we were 21 when this was happening. Yeah. So you went from like the million in Supergroove to mm. a duo. How, what was the sort of gap between that happening? Well, a horn section is a band within a band, so we always were that unit. Uh, but yeah, we, we probably had a couple, three years off or something. Yeah. Right. And then, then, then Nick's like, I need to play, so can I come over? And then he came over, and then we just wound up writing song, basically, I think, straight away. And then we started writing more songs, and then I sung over one. And then uh, we just kind of kept going, and then you turn around and you've made two records. Well, it's so <laughs> nice, it's so unique to have brass too. My son mm. plays, he plays a trumpet, but there's oh, really not cool. a lot of kids who are playing those instruments anymore. And they sound so cool, and you make them really, really funky. They're really hard work. So a lot of kids <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> try <laughs> them, and the then drums. they go, I think I'm going to go with the guitar. Yeah, you know? maybe the drums, they sound yeah, cool, Mum. Yeah, and I won't have to play every day. <laughs> 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 and I must admit, I guess, you know, when you hear your music, it's infectious, it's uplifting. And there's also, you know, the old political messages in some of your songs as well. You must be really stoked with the way people react when you go and play at bars and even in their private homes. I know you've done that as well. We do that, yeah. Oh, well, I think New Zealand is a great place to perform live music at the moment. I think there are more and more people considering it as an entertainment option. Mm. Go to a funky little venue, see this amazing local band. Yeah. And uh, I think we've, the fruits of that are people like Tammy Nielsen and Marlon Williams who... Oh, just yeah. sort of taking over the world at Actually, the hold that thought because we want to talk more about that and you guys and Supergroove and everything in just a couple of moments. It's what you need enough Is what you got too much For you to bear yeah, that is the demanding blues from Hopetown Brown's last album. Who are with us now uh, this morning? Now, guys, where did the name come from, Hopetown Brown? Well, I used to live on Hopetown Street, mm -hmm. and Tim used to live on Brown, Brown Street. Brown Street, right? And mm -hmm. so that that was the genesis of it. And uh, if you Google Hope Town, you've got to spell it T-O-U-N like the street. Yeah. It's not spelt T-O-W-N. No. And well, that's where the name came from. Well, it's actually good. It's, it's good that you lived on nice sounding streets. Yeah, we're very lucky. <laughs> and we were really handy. Not so rural we could... block RD1 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Schlacht off <stuff. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Nick, you were just mentioning before about Tammy Nelson. And um, of course, Tim, I guess, you know, you've backed Dave Dobbin before. There's been, uh, you know, quite a few things going on in your career. What do you think's been the highlight? So I'll start with you. Nick, what do you reckon has been the highlight for you so far? Well, look, we supported the Violent Femmes at the St James, and I think it was the last gig at the St James until who knows when. Mm. And so we did two nights there. It was, it was a thrill, and we got to play a couple of songs with the Violent Femmes. Were they cool? Oh, man, yeah. they were cool. Yeah, Good. I thought they were they, super cool. One of my favourite <laughs> They had a bass sax player, and a bass saxophone is even bigger than a baritone saxophone. Yeah. Wow. He was very impressive. And playing with those guys, what a legend, what a dream Yeah, band. Amazing oh. band. And, and also at the St James too. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice. it was special. You mentioned um, Tammy Nielsen, she's got, sung a couple of songs with you on your last yeah. album. Yeah, we, we, we wrote a song together um, 
And yeah, that was definitely one of my highlights. <laughs> Tammy is just uh, amazing to work with and she sits at your dining room table doing her quiet voice, um, which can like shake windows out. Yeah, we've got just a bit of playing in the background now. Sound, she sounds so and just beautiful and yeah. stunning and such a presence too. She's, she's great. She's, she's just, yeah, she's got a really good groove to her, which, we, yeah, she, she's just fun to sing with. Singing with her is like being on train tracks. You just know that you will be perfectly in tune and everything will be great. Are you going to try and drag her out at any stage? Like, well, she's a special yes. guest this Friday with us at the wine cellar. We've got a f quite a few special guests and then uh, we mix it up a bit on the Saturday. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a thrill to play with them. <laughs> hey, thank you for coming in. Hopetown Brown's latest thank album, you. Looks So Good, is out on Friday. And make sure that you check out the Event Finder website for details on their 12-date national tour as well. They are spectacular live. Thank you so much, guys. Thank yeah, you. thanks, thank guys. You. That was an absolute yeah. pleasure.